Okay, what is a sauna? No, tell me, seriously, what, what is a sauna? Oh, you don't know what a sauna is? I actually have to start this video and tell you what it, okay, that's fair. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into the difference between a smart suite and a sauna. So actually, funny enough, I use smart suite, which is the sponsor of today's video, for a lot of different reasons. One, I've had a good relationship for a while, I make content on their channel, on this channel, great platform. And I also use Asana a lot because my job makes me use it. And uh, as you can see from my reaction, I'm uh, underwhelmed by Asana. Now I have made reviews on this channel before. They have improved a lot. In my opinion, they used to suck a lot, but they do look better than they used to be. Also could have been the project management system I was at at my previous job that also made me use Asana. But truthfully, they do have a pretty solid product and I wanna dive into the differences of the task management parts of both of these different things. So first of all, inside of a task manager in SmartSuite, what you have is you know an option to just do so much more than Asana from a task management standpoint that I just really wanna call this out. If I go into this task, for example, I have subtasks and you know what? New task. Every time I do that, it automatically has this little progress bar, which I think is the coolest thing in the demo. Okay, let's be 100% real. Now, the fact that it has this, the fact that I can have multiple due dates and then have it assigned to me and then have that get put into my work section is very cool. And Asana obviously has similar functionality regarding that. However, when it comes to doing teamwork, uh, the fact of the matter is I don't think Asana is great for project management. Most people end up working with you know, basic lists or boards and the different amount of options that you have from a layout standpoint. We got grid, card, Kanban, calendar, timeline, map, chart, a myriad of different views. And then you have to like pay 11 bucks a month to get dashboards and custom fields. Like what do we, for free, what, 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 what are we doing? You can't have custom fields on the free plan? What year? Or in comparison, when we look at SmartSuite, look how laughable the difference is here. I mean, all that changes is like the storage capabilities. Like how many records per solution? Like, oh, boohoo, you get only 1200 for free. But I just never understood the whole gatekeeping things like forms. So it's, you don't think SmartSuite has forms? SmartSuite's got forms for free. Rules, bleh. Don't have rules for free. I don't know. I don't know what world we live in, all right? It's a little, look at, look at all these different options. Nothing changes based on the price. All these different board views like dashboards and whatnot. So from a team collaboration standpoint and from a visualization standpoint, it's already up here. Uh, the fact that you can even share views and whatnot all of your task management boards have a myriad of different sharing settings. Asana, not so much, uh, not nearly as advanced in that side. And you know, I looked far and wide for something like this, but tell me this, if Asana is such a good task management tool, why is it that in SmartSuite, I can click on this, type, make sure to finish this by tomorrow at, at Dimitri, and then assign it as a task, excuse me? And then it goes into my My Work section. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, I don't even, I don't even. It blows my mind that that's like not a feature in Asana. Mind boggled, not really sure what to do about that information, but hey, I'm not the one making the tools. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. Well, they have some similar basic fields uh, inside of it. Like they have assigned to due date, priority status. You see this? See me when I press explore all field types? It's overwhelming in comparison. I mean, single select, multi-select, time, Time tracking is something you can do, which is obviously important for task management. I mean, the duration on here is huge. Time tracking log, percents complete, multiple different sub, not only sub tasks, but sub items. I don't even want to get into the fact, actually I do want to get into the fact that this in its essence is not a task. It is a record that is being used as a task with subtasks within it. And all of these different subtasks can have due dates, assigned tos and whatnot. But when it comes to dependent tasks, and other things that are connected. I mean, just me opening this and having the ability to add a full-fledged smart document to it, insane. Having the ability to add a email property, roll-ups to other linked records, interlinking between things. That's not even a thing in Asana. I mean, what are we doing? 44 field types, they got eight. No linkage between apps, we can. And while they have dashboards, good Lord, why do you have to pay for it? We also have a much more intuitive filtering system. Uh, so we have filtering and filter groups, which is very much similar to things like Notion, ClickUp, and a bunch of other tools you know and love. And when it comes to Asana, you literally have to pay in order for it to reasonably have some filtering with advanced search. 
I know you can filter without it, but it's not that good. Actually, it's not very good at all without it. And the Mayo task section is also very limited. So it's just like, I don't, how many things are gatekept by money? And then when you get it, it's a much less intuitive filtering system that isn't able to go in line with this. It uh, doesn't have things like grouping from a more advanced standpoint. It's very limited to the few fields it has. And obviously over here for spotlight, we could do things like due date is the past month. And then we got you know a bunch of different uh, items that can be highlighted or spotlighted, which is very cool. When this recurring task update came out for Smart Speed, it definitely just launched this ahead of what Asana has across the board. There's no record level permissions. There's no member directory where I can go here and see my team members and their statuses. Like you can see for me right here, I'm shown as out of office. For here, we have the other Dimitri on the team, showcases who they are. This kind of stuff is what you would really prefer to have in a project management team environment. And SmartSuite seems to be one of the few apps that actually cares about having that. They do have some automations, which are not bad. Uh, it is an enterprise level product, so the automations are pretty solid. I don't want to act like they're, they're, they're not very good. But I will say, in my opinion, from what I've seen, SmartSuite is really trying to roll out more and more and more. Uh, I have this interconnected between multiple different applications in my CRM. If I get a new lead, I can go to the US automation. You'll see when a record is updated and changes to customer, it creates records onboarding tasks with subtasks within it. That is a very nice system to kind of have it go across multiple, you know, task lists, for example. Uh, so having a CRM connected with your task manager is something that Asana just uh, can't really do that easily. And while I do think that Asana has a decent amount of templates, <laughs> oh boy. Have you ever just had so many templates that it's nearly overwhelming? Press add new solution and the templates is over 200. Look at this, I can just, I, I can't stop clicking. They're everywhere. It's 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 nonstop. It's awesome. It's so cool. And for a lot of these, actually, do have uh, live demos that you can like click through. And there's also some videos that go along with it uh, a lot of the time. And then if you're not really quite sure, but want to ask AI to generate a solution for you, you can. And it's uh, not too bad when it does it. Personally, I believe that the tool just has a more comprehensive way of working. It is more of a work management tool that happens to have functional task management within it. And from my perspective, the fact that I struggle to see where Asana as just a task manager is that much better than SmartSuite just as a task manager would make me think, yeah, use SmartSuite. Why not? And even if you end up having to pay, the $10 a month plan is cheaper than the $10.99 plan from Asana. And it just goes above and beyond anything I've really ever seen. Uh, from a scalability standpoint and interconnectivity between task managing, your CRM, your content calendar, and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in using this, make sure to check it out. Thanks again for sponsoring this video. Um, Asana, you do good work, but eh, in my opinion, not as good. And you could do great work by watching this video right here. That was an awful transition.